Hey everybody, it's Matt from Eastwood Company. We're doing the Eastwood Hands-On Awards for SEMA 2014. One of the awards that we're giving out this year is Best Fabrication. Um, there's a ton of really crazy fabrication uh, when you walk around pretty much every vehicle that's here, but really we couldn't pass up something that has freaking airplane engine in it. I mean, it's, it's just awesome. So we're giving Chris from TP Certified Hot Rods the Best Fabrication Award from Eastwood Company um, for 2014 SEMA. So thanks a lot. Thanks, Matt. This thing's really rad. I appreciate it. Let's hear a little bit about the truck. What made you want to stuff uh, an airplane engine into a truck? Basically, if you're not different these days, you're just going to get lost. <laughs> True. And uh, did you have an engine just laying around, or did it kind of just fall into your lap? Or? It fell, basically fell into my lap. Uh, I basically saw a little photo of this thing, and it was all polished out and shiny. And you know, I called the number on it and talked to the guy, and it was for sale. So. Uh, he said it was about four feet diameter, two feet tall, and I said, there's no way I can't put that in the truck. And since then, it's been nothing but people telling me it won't work, you know, tell me it's the, the heating problems and all these problems. And so basically, it turned into a mission to make that happen. So two years later. Here we are. The biggest thing is, how do you make the power go from, obviously, the front to the wheels? That's been the, the first question everybody's asked. Mm -hmm. Um, and the first thing I thought was, how does a rear end work? Ring and pinion. Yep. I decided to actually use a rear end so that when somebody looks at it, it's recognizable. So, it, obviously, have you driven it around at all? I mean, with a lot of these vehicles, it's like late to the last... This close. <laughs> it shoots flames. Well, that's cool. What's some of the, the details of what you have going on in the rear end and the suspension overall? Basically, it's just a parallel four link with a watts link that I came up with a few years ago and then just boxed it all in, made it strong, made it try to make it look good at the same time. For anybody that's not familiar with this body style, what the truck start out as originally? Started as a 67 C10 long bed. It's turned out into something that's pretty crazy. Now, you obviously have the, the bare metal was that the concept from beginning to do a two-tone bare metal look? I just love bare metal. So pretty much everything that I build since I do own a shop, mm -hmm. I put everything in bare metal while it's in the build process so that people can see, you know, my sheet metal skills. Right, that's going into it. So just however long the bare metal lasts, that's my business card. So is there, a, I know you said it's pretty close to running. What else do you have left to do before it's ready to? Timing. Timing, that's basically it. Yep. What's involved in timing it? On an airplane motor, I have no idea. <laughs> well, uh, I appreciate uh, you showing us the truck. The thing's wild. We'll, uh, we've got to walk around and look at it a few more minutes just to take in everything you've done to it. So. Sounds good. Thanks, Chris. I really appreciate Thanks, it. Thanks, Matt.